Here's five things I will never do after becoming financially illiterate. And you're going to want to stick around to number one. Woo! All right, first off, I agree with a couple of these. However, you're only financially literate to a certain point. Now, ask me five years ago, I would have agreed with all five of these. I used to be a Dave Ramsey master, and that's why I would have agreed with all five of these. After growing my net worth and running multiple million dollar companies, you'll be surprised to know you shouldn't do about half of the things you just said. Starting with the never pay for delivery service with your food. Your net worth gets to a point where it financially makes more sense to have your food delivered than to interrupt you is not worth the $15 I'm gonna save. I get your point, but it's not a blanket statement. Number two, this is a big one, never having a car payment, not caring about what kind of fancy car you have. Again, Dave Ramsey mind, 100% agree. However, the reason you see business owners driving Tesla Model X's, S's in my case, or Porsches, whatever bull crap cars that everyone else likes, it's not just because they have money and they want to blow money. In fact, that's never the case with every millionaire I personally know. They always drive these fancy cars for tax reasons. The more and more wealthy you get, the more you focus on tax codes. The more you focus on keeping money from the government using these codes, you'd be blown away with what the wealthy do with their money. I literally told myself, no matter how wealthy I got, I would never buy a mansion and I would never, never buy a car worth more than 10 grand. So why the heck am I buying RVs every single year? Taxes. Oh, they bring in over five grand a month each. But I have a car payment of $600 on one of them. But they make me over five grand a month each being rented out. And I'm relating to you. When I was at your stage of financially literate, I would look at these things and think, I am such an irresponsible, bad little boy. But your financial literacy is limited, just like mine was. We're on the same team here. Now, never play the lotto? I agree, it's a tax for the poor and only the poor. None of my millionaire friends, including me, ever played the lotto. But just so you know, you can stay anonymous in certain states on that. Never donate to politics, I agree but I've always donated 10% of all my worth my entire life. Now, before you think I'm a saint, there's tax benefits. It does make you feel warm and fuzzy too. All this is to say is you are limited in your financial literacy. I was there with you, I was you. My unsolicited advice to you is to try to understand why the wealthy are so irresponsible and do the things they do and ask why.